Well, happy to bring to you about India's next-gen Desi fighter push. India fast-tracking the fifth-generation fighter jets. It's a government approval that has come in for the advanced medium combat jets. AMC execution model is rolling out. And again, the Atmanirbhar air combat taking wings. Remember the past few years, especially in the last one decade, we have seen how the Desi push has also come to the fore. Of course, there have been collaborations and deals with other countries, whether it's France, Russia, Israel. But there's been a focus that we shouldn't depend on other countries. And that's the reason that there have been increasingly uh, focus and development, whether it's jets, whether it's arms and ammunition. And now India fast tracking the fifth gen fighter jets. Uh, AMC execution model has rolled out. That's the first image on your screen. We'll try and get more details on what exactly is the focus on it. What kind of difference does it make to our military power? And remember that AMCA jet is also going to be a focus. It's HAL is the focus here, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. This is advanced medium combat aircraft, the AMCA. Uh, Indian single seat, twin engine, all weather, fifth generation stealth multi role combat aircraft. And uh, the Defense Minister has officially made this announcement and sharing these images on your screen and has said that India's indigenous defense capabilities and fostering a robust domestic aerospace industrial ecosystem. I want to immediately bring in India Today's Sandeep Unitan for the latest on that. Sandeep, you must have reported about a lot of deals and collaborations with other countries. When you report about an indigenous aircraft, a fifth gen stealth aircraft, tell me what is the significance of it and some of the characteristics of this jet. Sandeep, if you can hear me, as we put out these images of the AMCA prototype, it will be a major milestone towards uh, an Atmanirbhar Bharat in the aerospace sector. But when we talk about indigenous expertise, when we talk about harnessing it and having had deals done with other nations, focusing on this time on what perhaps would be our advanced medium combat aircraft, what is the significance of the moment? Extremely significant. Uh, this is India's commitment to meeting its fifth generation fighter aircraft requirements from Indian industry. Now, uh, uh, what the government seems to have done here is to repose faith in the private sector who will partner with the DRDO's ADA, Aeronautical Development Agency, to produce the first prototypes of the AMCA. Now, the AMCA is an extremely important requirement because you're faced with uh, China, which already has not one, but two fifth-generation fighter aircraft in its inventory. And there's every reason to believe that in the next few months, China will transfer to Pakistan at least 40 of its J-35 fifth generation fighter aircraft, thereby giving the PAF an edge over the Indian Air Force uh, in the neighborhood. Now, this is something that uh, the AMCA project has been in the pipeline for very long, for more than 15 years. We have tried the Russian route where we partnered with uh, Russia initially for the fifth generation fighter aircraft program, which is now the Su-57 fighter jet. A few years back, India parted ways with Russia on the fifth generation fighter aircraft because they believed that they did not learn enough from the proposal that the Russians were uh, proposing at that time. We decided to go alone on this program, uh, develop it by ourselves. It's a very... Uh, very wise and a very well thought out move. There are few countries in the world which have tried to do this all by themselves, a fifth generation fighter aircraft program all by themselves. Uh, so this is India's commitment now that we are not going to look at either the Russian platforms or the American F-35, which was recently offered by President Donald Trump in February. Uh, India is going to go alone on the uh, ANCA. It is going to develop it. Uh, the first prototypes are expected by the end of this decade, uh, by 2028 or 29. And it is hoped that the first AMCA will be inducted into service within the next decade, which is by about 2032 or 2034. Now, the AMCA is a capability that the Air Force needed yesterday, given the number of Air Forces that have already begun inducting fifth-generation fighter mm -hmm. aircraft. In fact, they have 
started inducting six generation fighter aircraft as well. So the Indian Air Force has been behind the curve on the ANCA. But this decision by the defense ministers extremely significant. Where a, a quick the word there before we bring out more details about. But we are also talking about the, the China's J 35A stealth jets. We know how China uh, has been supplying fighter jets or Turkey's drones. Where does this AMCA prototype at present stand against that? Because we'll also have need to have that counter how we're looking at our neighbor nations. Well, uh, you know, the AMCA is a capability that is not going to come very quickly. It is, okay. uh, it is a commitment. It's a development project that will take at least a decade mm. for it to enter squadron service. Now, as I mentioned, uh, we are behind the curve on inducting a fifth generation fighter.